Hey there everyone, it's Scar Predator Pre Online. Thanks for coming back and humoring me. Uh, cheers guys. Um, so today I'm going to do a video about uh, a little bit like the difference between old worlds and new worlds, you know, uh, from a high level kind of kind of view. So a really, really simplistic. Um, we'll just have a look at the spider itself and I'll you can then obviously know what's the difference between kind of um, a new world terrestrial and an old world terrestrial and then we also do an old world arboreal and a new world arboreal. Okay, so we start off this video with an old world terrestrial. So terrestrial means ground dwelling, arboreal means obviously tree dwelling. This one's fossorial even, so it actually makes a deep burrow. And this is the Hysterocrates laticeps. So a really underrated baboon spider from Africa, usually around the Cameroon area. And this is housed in a quite a dry setup, quite dry, not too dry, uh, with a water bowl obviously. Uh, all the spiders should have a water bowl, even if they are African species and you know, they, they like a drier climate, have one available there and you can't go wrong. So. This, the burrow is here, and she's quite shy anyway. So what I'll do is I'll try and tempt her out with a roach for you. And, you know, spiders don't play ball, you know, they are dicks. So if this doesn't work, then I'll move on to another one. So let's see if she's hungry then. Oh, she, oh, she's actually just, <laughs> uh, okay, so she's actually just swiped it off the tongs before I could pull it up. So let's see, I'll wait a bit and let's see if she comes out. <laughs> okay, so moving on, um, that one wasn't playing ball. So this one is Cyrupagopus lividus, so the cobalt blue tarantula. It's another fossorial species which is a, a you know a terrestrial species but they like to dig very deep burrows this one wasn't um, so long ago had a, a, a substrate change so hasn't actually felt the need to burrow at all because it's in between two other tubs it's really really dark so um, she hasn't felt the need that she needs to burrow yet she will but you know these things they take time but she's lovely she's a iridescent blue color and this is where we start to have the difference between new world and old world so uh, an old world spider doesn't possess any urticating bristles so no itchy hairs uh, it doesn't have them but it does usually have is a far more defensive attitude so they're usually a lot nastier a lot more, um, I hate using the word aggressive when it comes to spiders because you know it is more of a defensive thing and they're quick and their venom is, is a little bit more potent, nine times out of ten more potent than a new world spider but she, she, this one is awesome. I mean, the attitude, the speed, everything. This is why I like Asian spiders. Uh, she comes from Thailand and the surrounding areas. And their burrows can be really deep, like two foot deep. So we try to give them as much, much substrate as you can in captivity. So this one's got 10 inches, maybe 11 inches of substrate there. And also some... Uh, Oh, she's moving a bit. And also some size on it so that she can bend her burrow down if, if needs be to extend it. So I'll just feed her now. And you can see how quick these really are. And if I was using my other lens, I would um, slow it down. But with this lens, because this lens is silent, um, it's not as good as the other lens. So I don't get a clarity when I slow, slow the, um, the video down for you. But you'll be able to see it full speed now. So 
as soon as it hit the ground really she's going to show us a happy dance run in circles they literally cover the ground in web so if they don't need it they can wrap that prey up and save it for later here we go she's going to show you a prime example of a happy dance I'm sure she does it every time <laughs> now all the white stuff that you can see is literally web so it's shining um, a really weird colour on the on the lens there because of the lights that I've got and there it is big blue happy dance <laughs> freaky little things here she is, Terinopelma sasmi, so the Brazilian blue tarantula. Now, she doesn't look that blue at the moment. You can see some blue on her legs, but she's um, in need of a molt, really, I would say. Uh, in the right lighting, you can see the blue, but uh, this one is not that blue. She's quite old as well, I'm, I'm quite sure. So, I'm, maybe the blue fades with age, but I had uh, a couple of people message me saying that's not tearing a pelma sasmi because that's not blue i can guarantee it is <laughs> um, this lady was a prolific mother giving birth to hundreds of spiderlings and uh, i was really really chuffed with her she's also been mated again so if we'll catch it before she molts i don't know but it was worth a try uh, okay so as i said new world terrestrial this one is it's as its common name suggests from South America Brazil Brazilian blue and you can see if you look now on the abdomen so on a on a back end you'll see the dark haze but you'll also see like a ring of red all around her abdomen all those are what they call urticating bristles so itchy itchy hairs and that's their defense mechanism so in, when they get disturbed she'll flick with her back legs she'll flick those off and they're quite itchy i've got to be honest if you get in your eyes it's a bad day but normally i mean i'm quite lucky i don't really have um you know i don't really get bothered by the itch but some people do have a quite severe reaction to um to urticating hairs and it can be a really bad time. I know hobbyists in the past who had to give up uh, owning New World spiders just because they were so bad, so itchy. Not as bad this one as say a Theraposa Sturmi. Theraposa do have the worst hairs of any spider I've come across anyway. Even I itch with those. But yeah, she's... Um, she is a burrower as well, but um, she doesn't feel the need to burrow. She's out a lot. Um, she's got whatever she needs, and I kind of uh, use as a, a semi to dry kind of substrate. Topsoil again. She loves, really loves making huge divots, and she bulldozes things around. Let's feed her, see if she'll eat. These are actually quite fussy eaters sometimes. And I've got... A, an old roach here that uh, looks past his prime for my colony. So, ah, bugger. Where's my tweezers? Ah, you say spiders don't play ball, roaches are worse. Right, you. See, nothing, no response. <laughs> Give her a second, she might realise this, what it is. Be a roaches, man, they play dead. That's why red runners are so much better for like juvenile spiders, I find. 
because they, rather, as the name suggests again, they leg it around the place and it creates that response mechanism from the spider. Look at that now, it's actually underneath her. So she's not hungry either. All right, so what I'll do is I'll put the lid back on her and um, we'll have part two, which will be arboreal and uh, new world against old, old old world, you know? See what the difference is between arboreals. Cheers guys, thanks for watching and um, thanks for all the support, um, especially when Dave was loose. Uh, thanks guys. Um, there's a Patreon page if you want to become a patron and support the channel, thank you. And cheers to my patrons already, uh, you guys are cool. Um, like, comment, subscribe, keep coming back to the channel. If you like what I do, hit that bell button to have notifications of when I go live, etc. Uh, stay safe guys, take it easy.